my shirt matches the book. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to Retro Book Reviews. Um, today, we're talking, you've already seen the title, so let me just hold up the book. We're talking about Along Came a Spider by James Patterson. Uh, if you're a fan of the channel, you will know I don't like James Patterson. Um, but this is the book uh, that started my, I guess, not <laughs> my love affair, but my hate affair for James Patterson. Because so many people are like, James Patterson wasn't bad back in the day. Um, I don't I don't like him nowadays, or before I read this, I didn't like him because he uses ghostwriters, well, not ghostwriters, he uses other writers to write his books so that he can pump them out as quick as possible. I think in one interview he said he can't even, uh, he can't keep up with how quick his brain plots, so he now uses other people to write his books. Um, but beside all that, I figured, okay, let me go back to this dude's first book. This might not actually be the first one. It might be Kiss the Girls. I don't know. Don't really care. Um, but let me go back to his first book. I found this at the local bookstore, um, and I picked it up for I think is like three bucks um, and I'm really mad that I paid that much for it uh, also just holding this book right now um, I'm noticing it's from Grand Central Publishing I have never enjoyed a book published by Grand Central Publishing that's interesting uh, to me uh, maybe their <laughs> their editors or their acquisitions editors just don't care but anyways so back to this book I hate it. Like I said, I hated everything about it. The the writing is awful. Um, I read this around the time when I was doing a um, an editing kind of crash course with a longtime friend and editor of mine. And as I was reading it, I, I found so many things that I had a problem with that my editor helped me with, like um, vague antecedents, uh, dangling modifier no yeah they're gonna see it dangling dangling modifiers dangling participles so much stuff in here that just makes the writing bad um but let's forget all about the writing Let, let's completely ignore the writing and talk about the story um so spoilers from here on out um for some odd reason this guy kidnaps these two kids and he ends up killing one of them on accident <laughs> but instead of just hiding the body or burying the body he tosses the body in the river this guy's supposed to be genius IQ level um, intelligence and he ends up dumping the body instead of just burying the body on a property I think it was around a barn or whatever um, so there was a place for him to hide the body uh, but he just decides to dump it in a river which ends up getting found which starts the whole tumbling down of him getting in trouble there's also a section where he goes to jail um <laughs> he just it, he makes it so he does go to jail because he i think he does kind of like a uh, holds up a mcdonald's or something along those lines which is completely different from the movie version um he, he ends up in jail and he is able to escape from jail for the the craziest there there's no cameras there's no on the elevator there's nothing stopping him from from walking out of this prison because he ends up uh over or did I can't remember if he was if he had paid the the guard but just one guard got him out of this of this prison um now while that might be a possibility I'm not sure I can't remember exactly how it goes and also I le I'll leave my review my written review from right after I finished reading it. Um, huge, huge warning for vulgarity because I was mad and it's it's a rage review, so expect some some very colorful language. Um, <laughs> the so he gets out of prison with no with, with no problem. Um, I guess the the thing that I had a problem with, I know it had to do with cameras in the elevator, is and there was coincidence. Like how in the hell did he just happen to be riding down the elevator with this certain guard or something to that effect. Uh, the next thing that I will bring up is the point where I started to get upset and angry at how bad this book was. Now, this guy has uh, the FBI, the, the local police, he has everybody watching out for him. So much so that they have a... Um, what is it, a stakeout going, watching his house after he breaks out of jail. He has people watching his house 
and watching these other people also. And he gets by them in either a FedEx or a UPS driver outfit. So mind you, there the federal government is watching these houses and he is just e able to come and go because he dressed up like a mail delivery service. It is so terribly bad. Um, and I go back and I look at the reviews for this book and I see some of my, some, some very, very intelligent people giving this book five stars. And while I understand the idea of escapism, there's just so many, so many holes and problems with this book. Um, beside that, there are a lot of really terrific writers who gave this book five stars and I, like I said, I just, I don't understand it. Um, James Patterson has become kind of a meme at the level that he's at with, you know, he doesn't even write anymore. He hasn't written in, you know, probably a decade or more, and he's teaching writing classes. He wasn't a very good author to begin with, and he's teaching writing classes. So all these things come together, and yes, it's made this retro review a little bit of a, more of an explanation to why I dislike James Patterson, but this is the reason. This book right here is the reason why I dislike James Patterson. So to everybody who says, "Yeah, he used to be a good writer. No, no, honey. No, he didn't. <laughs> I mean, well, the, the thing is, you can argue about what's good writing and what's bad writing all day long. Um, objectively, he's a bad writer because he doesn't follow grammar rules. I mean, that's, that, that's basic. That's an objective, uh, that's an objective statement. Um, an objective find is to say that he does not follow normal grammar rules. Um, so objectively he's bad and subjectively he's terrible also. But anyways, what do you think about James Patterson? Go ahead and tell me down there in the doobly-doo. I'm sure some of his wonderful, wonderful fans will stop by to tell me how terrible I am. Um, but I'd especially like to know why you like him. Um, do you completely ignore the bad writing? Do you completely ignore the plot holes? What is it? Is it because he has short, chapter, short, short chapters? Let me know down there in the comments below. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another Retro Review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye! If this is anything like Goodreads, the comment section is just going to turn into a, a pit full of feces and nuclear waste materials. <laughs> uh, there are two types of fandoms out there that just that that are just the ugliest, ugliest commenters um, on the face of this planet. That's Dean Koontz fans. If you go check out the uh, comment section over for my top ten Dean Koontz books, I think it is, and then you know go check out any of my re my James Patterson reviews. Just utter garbage garbage people. Um, it, it's, it's funny because when I talk bad about Stephen King, like I'll say, okay, Wizard and Glass is his worst book, I might get somebody go, you're an idiot. But I never have anybody say the vile shit that they do on the Patterson and the Koontz, uh, the Koontz books. And I'm wondering if it's because his fans aren't of a certain intelligence level. You know what I mean? <laughs>